Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to derive moment generating function for Poisson distribution. Let x be Poisson distribution with parameter lambda. Then mass function of x will be equal to e to the negative lambda, lambda to the x over x factorial for x equal to 0, 1, 2 up to infinity. We know that Poisson distribution is a discrete distribution and it is supported from 0 to infinity. Moment generating function by definition equals to expectation of e to the tx and expectation by definition equals to the argument of expectation times the mass function. We are going to use discrete definition of moment generating function. So let's rewrite moment generating function equals to expectation of e to the tx and expectation by definition equals to e to the tx times the mass function which is going to be e to the negative lambda lambda to the x over x factorial for our case here. And Poisson is supported from 0 to infinity. Now we can take out e to the negative lambda in front of the sigma sign because it's a constant here. So e to the negative lambda x from 0 to infinity and we have e to the tx times lambda to the x over x factorial. Using exponential rules, we can rearrange the numerator. So e to the negative lambda, summation from 0 to infinity, e to the t times lambda, and we can factor out x as exponent over x factorial. Let's recall from Taylor series that e to the y is equal to summation x from 0 to infinity y to the x over x factorial. So using this fact we can rewrite this summation as e to the e to the t lambda using the Taylor series fact here. So what we have here is e to the negative lambda times e to the e to the t times lambda. And if we merge the exponents on the same base, we obtain and factor out lambda here, e to the lambda times e to the t minus 1. So this is the moment generating function of Poisson distribution. Now, let's take the derivative of this and second derivative of this. Lambda e to the t e to the lambda times e to the t minus 1. Because we know that derivative of e to the a t kind of argument is equal to a e to the at. Now we can take the second derivative. So second derivative is the derivative of the first derivative. So let's rewrite this. Again using the using the differentiation rules for e we can obtain lambda e to the t e to the lambda times e to the t minus 1 plus lambda squared e to the 2t e to the lambda times e to the t minus 1. So this is our second derivative of the moment generating function. Now we can use them. We know that if we plug in 0 
at the first derivative of the moment generating function we obtain the expectation so here wherever we see t we're going to plug in zero here e to the zero is one one minus one is zero zero times lambda is zero and e to the zero is one one times e to the zero is again one so we obtain here just lambda so expectation of Poisson distribution is just lambda let's go ahead and find the expectation of x squared we know that if we plug in zero in the second derivative of the moment generating function we obtain expectation of x squared which is the second moment so wherever we see t here we're going to plug in zero we know that we already obtained lambda here because it is identical and here this everything equals to 1 because e to the 0 times e to the 0 so what we obtain is lambda plus lambda squared so this is the second moment or expectation of x squared now using the definition of variance we can find the variance expectation of x squared minus expectation of x the quantity squared so expectation of x squared is lambda plus lambda squared and expectation of x is lambda and we have to square it so we obtain lambda plus lambda squared minus lambda squared so they cancel each other so our variance is also lambda so expectation and the variance of Poisson is lambda so that's it for Poisson distribution for this video thank you for watching see you at the next video